Hey yo, duckies! Andy Livy here, back with a nice advanced OBS tutorial and another little feature that Excel Drows made me. Okay, I asked for the, I wanted to make the move from stream elements, um, the OBS.live, to just traditional o vanilla OBS studio. And the reason why I couldn't do that is because I used OBS Live for some certain things. Obviously, with a new update in OBS Studio, we started getting the Twitch activity feed and we got the chat and everything like that on there, which was great. But I wanted a feature where I could refresh all my browser sources. Because the amount of times when stream elements kind of crashes and alerts stop playing and the only way to fix it is to refresh the, the browser source cache, uh, I use that button a lot. But he's made me a nice little script, which I'm sharing with you guys now. Go and check it out on his GitHub and everything like that. Um, all the links are going to be down below, okay? But before we get into it, make sure you do like this video. Also, subscribe for more future tips. There's going to be so many. I've got so many advanced features. And also, come and check out some of the things that I'm doing on my channel at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy, okay? And even come and just ask me a couple of questions. I don't mind sharing the secrets. Do you know what I mean? Just don't tell it. Now, I'm joking. Tell everybody, all right? But I've already done that bit. Let's just get on with it. All right, put you over the stone. Right, so first things first, we need to get it all downloaded and installed to the correct directory so OBS can actually read it. So let's go to Exceldro's GitHub page, which has got a couple of different LUA files. We're going to be using refresh browsers. Just hit clone or download and download the zip. That'll get downloaded straight to, to your computer, just down here. Click on it, open this folder, and we're going to copy refresh browsers. And we need to go and find the folder that it's in. So we need to find the OBS Studio folder, which is usually C drive, program files, or program files 86. Mine's program files, and it's OBS dash studio or lowercase. And we're gonna go into data, into OBS plugins, and then there's one called front end dash tools. Open that and go to scripts and just paste it just in there. So mine's already in there, so it's going to ask me to replace. I'm not going to do it just in case it messes up this recording. So as soon as that is all done, we jump into OBS. Really simple and easy to do. Go to tools at the top and go down to scripts and you'll see you should have refresh-browsers.lua. If it's not there, try and install it into the program files 86 directory. Um, follow the same file path for, for OBS Studio in the normal file, uh, program files, vice versa, okay? And then this little thing here, refresh browsers, will appear, okay? And when you press that, you're not going to see much difference on this scene, but if I go to my Let's Chat scene, just here, like so, this is actually, this white overlay that you see around here is a um, straight from Stream Elements website. So I'm going to press refresh browsers now goes off for a second, comes back on. Okay, so what that's actually doing, Excel Drew, let me know, is he's changing the frames per second up one and down one. So you're not going to notice anything, but when that change in frames per second happens, it causes all the browser sources to refresh, and that'll reset them globally across all your different scenes. Okay, I'm going to go back so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Here we are. So as you can see here, it says it adds a hotkey to refresh all browsers. So to add that, press the little cross and go to settings. So file settings and then go to hotkeys and you should see it right at the top here, refresh all browsers. So I've got mine set up to control F3. You can set it up to anything you want. I've then used that uh, control F3 and put that as a hotkey on my stream deck. So now I've got a little button pretty much on every page on my stream deck because the amount of times I have stream elements problems, I can refresh all browser sources in a matter of seconds. A really good way to make it look a bit more professional. So when you've got it all set up, I'm gonna use my let's chat scene right now. So as you can see, when I refresh browser sources, it all goes black and it doesn't look great when you're in front of your viewers. But if you use my video just up here on the movement plugin, watch how smooth this looks. I'm gonna go to full cam. I've refreshed the browser sources, so just give it a couple of seconds. It looks really natural. Going back down to let's chat, it's all refreshed without making it look unprofessional. That, that was a little cheeky little tip there. 
that hopefully I, I've helped you with. But if you guys have liked the video, make sure you do press that like button. Also subscribe, okay, because there's so many more tips that are coming. Like I say, come and check out some of the things that I'm doing on my channel at twitch.tv slash andylippy. Streaming twice a day at the moment whilst we're in lockdown. I don't know what it's going to be later on, uh, but hopefully it's going to be more and more because I'm loving it at the moment and you guys have been so supportive. But, yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below or let me know on the Twitch channel. But until next time, put your rock over the stone. See you later.